Do you know what are alpha hydroxy acids? Have you heard about glycolic acid? Are you somebody who is planning to start using glycolic acid in their routine skincare regimen but don't know how to do it? Well then this video is for you so watch it till the end. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sakshi Agrawal, Consultant Dermatologist at Satya Aesthetics and Satya Hair Solutions. And today in this video, we shall be discussing about a very important molecule, glycolic acid, which is a type of alpha hydroxy acid. So today we will be discussing what is glycolic acid, how does it work, what are the benefits and the side effects of using glycolic acid, what are the safe combinations and the unsafe combinations with glycolic acid. As we know, there are many different types of acids that we use on our skin. Mainly, we have two broad categories, alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids. Although, there are many more variants as well. Amongst the alpha hydroxy acids, there are many molecules including glycolic acid, lactic acid, tartaric acid and mandelic acid. Out of all of these, glycolic acid holds a special place. It is a time-tested molecule and has been applied in various skin concerns. So, what exactly does this glycolic acid do? This is available in various concentrations and in various formulations also. So, when you apply it on your skin, it acts like a microscopic exfoliant. It increases the turnover rate of your skin and at the same time, it also maintains the hydration and the water retention capacity of your skin cells. So, we all know, how does one age? What is the science behind aging? As we age, the epidermal turnover rate, it decreases with our progressive aging. Glycolic acid increases this epidermal turnover rate. So, whatever pigment is accumulated, that is being taken care of if you are regularly applying glycolic acid. There is accumulation of pigment and sun damage as we age. This leads to dull and pigmented skin as well as there is development of fine lines and wrinkles. Glycolic acid is a molecule which is going to take care of both these concerns of aging. It takes care of the pigmentation also. At the same time, it also takes care of your fine lines and wrinkles. So the two major functions of glycolic acid are first it increases the epidermal turnover rate and second it induces collagen synthesis in your dermis which is the deeper layer of your skin. Because of this it helps in pigmented skin in spots in post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation at the same time it is also an effective molecule when you are beginning to get fine lines and wrinkles. Now coming to the indications of using glycolic acid. So glycolic acid as we have already seen helps a lot in pigmented skin. So where all we can use it. If you are somebody who is having some dark spots on your face or you are having post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or you are someone who gets tanned very easily and in this particular indication not just for facial tanning. If you have tanning over your hands or your feet even in those areas glycolic acid really works very well. Glycolic acid is also used in patients of acne. It helps in both active acne as well as the spots or the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that is left behind after your active acne are cured. It is available for acne use in the form of cleansers, face washes, creams, serums. So different kind of indications are there for which we can use different formulations of glycolic acid. Then comes the third most important application of glycolic acid which is in the anti-aging regime. So as we have already seen that it induces collagen synthesis, increases the turnover rate. So it is a good molecule for somebody who is just beginning to start their anti-aging regime. So if you are somebody in your late 20s and you wish to start with something very basic, very minimum and not very strong product, then yes, we can go with glycolic acid. You can start with glycolic acid with a lower concentration. Besides these, there are two, three other indications where glycolic acid is also used as a complementary therapy. So you can use it in keratosis pilaris, you can also use it for strawberry legs, 
for conditions like macular amyloidosis. Now coming to the next part of our video, how to use glycolic acid and what are its do's and don'ts. Now, as you know that glycolic acid is available both as at home based creams and lotions and serums and it is also used in the clinic therapies. So when we are using it in our clinics, we are using it in this form of glycolic acid peels which can contain only glycolic acid or it can be a combination of glycolic acid with other active molecules. In these peels, glycolic acid is used in high concentration ranging from 20% to 50% or sometimes even more, right? So these peels should never be tried at home. In fact, they should be done under supervision of a qualified certified dermatologist only. Now what you can use at your home are, there are certain home based creams which are coming in the concentration of 6%, 12%. There, there are many serums also which contain sometimes only glycolic acid. Sometimes there is a combination of alpha hydroxy acid along with the beta hydroxy acid. It is also coming in combination with hyaluronic acid. So these are some safe combinations that you can use at your own home. Now coming to the do's and don'ts of using glycolic acid. So how frequently you should apply glycolic acid and in what concentration you should start using glycolic acid. It also depends on your indication as well as your skin type. So if you are somebody who is having very oily skin, then yes, you can start glycolic acid based creams somewhere around 6% uh, concentration and you can start it with a frequency of alternate night application. Then if you are somebody who is having a dry and sensitive skin, then I would advise you to start it with a frequency of maybe once or twice in a week. To further minimize the chances of any allergy or irritation with glycolic acid, you can do two things. First is a patch test in which what you can do is you can apply a small bit of cream or serum that you are using on the back area behind your ears and you can leave it overnight just to see whether it is causing any irritant dermatitis or irritant reaction in your case or not. If it suits you well then you can start using it on your face. Another thing that you can do to minimize the irritation potential is that you can top it off with a moisturizer. So that would help in reducing its irritation potential. Another important thing that you should take care of is the ideal time to apply glycolic acid is night time and if you are somebody who is including glycolic acid in their night skincare regime then in the morning it is mandatory for you to not skip your moisturizer and your sunscreen. So make sure if you are using glycolic acid in the night in the morning you have to use a moisturizer and a sunscreen. You know that there are many different combinations which are available in the market which contains glycolic acid with another active skin ingredient. So some of them are safe to use, some of them are not. So first combination is glycolic acid along with hyaluronic acid. As you know that glycolic acid has some irritation potential. So if you combine it with hyaluronic acid, its tolerance would increase and the hydration status of your skin would be better. Second synergistic combination is glycolic acid along with niacinamide. Now you know that niacinamide is used very well in oily skin, acne prone skin, somebody who is having PIH or post inflammatory hyperpigmentation after acne in the form of acne spots. So glycolic acid and niacinamide both will work together and it would definitely a very beneficial combination for people who have oily skin and acne prone skin. Third combination that is also available is azelic acid and glycolic acid. Now both these things help a lot in uh, overcoming the post inflammatory hyperpigmentation or post acne spots that you might be having on your face and both will work synergistically on that. Only thing is you have to check for the irritation potential because both can lead to a little bit of irritation. So you have to make sure that it suits your skin and of course as goes without saying that all these combinations should be tried only after consulting and getting a prescription from your dermatologist and never on your own. Now we will be talking about the combinations with glycolic acid that you should avoid. So first one is combining glycolic acid application along with vitamin C. You know that glycolic acid being an alpha hydroxy acid would lower the pH. So the stability of vitamin C serum or cream whatever you are using would be affected if you are combining it with glycolic acid. Second 
combination that you should avoid is better to avoid using glycolic acid along with retinol and salicylic acid certainly not on the same day and if you are somebody who wish to have both glycolic acid and retinols in their night care regime then what you can do is maybe you can begin with one or two applications of glycolic acid in a week and one or two applications of retinol in a week but both of these should not be combined on the same day and if you have dry and sensitive skin then you should certainly avoid this combination even on different days of the week now the third combination that you should avoid is you know there are many antioxidant serums and peptide based serums that are available in the market these serums should not be combined with glycolic acid again for the same reason glycolic acid being an acid is going to alter the ph that ph is not suitable for peptide serums and antioxidant serums to work because you know these kind of serums they work only at a designated ph so it's very important to maintain your skin ph before applying these serums then only these serums are going to work now i would like to tell you who are the patients who should actually avoid using glycolic acid so if you have very sensitive and dry skin or if you have a skin allergy or if you are somebody who is suffering from rosacea then yes you should be very precautious while using glycolic acid do not use it on your face and if at all you want to use it first consult your dermatologist begin with the lowest concentration possible and only use it as a spot application and not on your whole face glycolic acid in concentration 6% or less is usually very much tolerable to all the patients but yes some of you might face certain side effects while using glycolic acid the common being you might face a little bit of a skin irritation there might be a little bit of itching when you are applying that uh, cream or serum there might be some stinging sensation it may lead to skin allergy and skin rash that is why if you are somebody who is having a dry and sensitive skin instead of applying it directly on your face you can start with a test patch and then after that if it suits you well then you can go for your facial application so in conclusion glycolic acid is a very good molecule to start with if you are somebody who is facing pigmentation issues or who wish to start with their anti aging regime then yes glycolic acid is a good molecule to start with the only precaution you have to take care is that you should consult your dermatologist before starting it you should not self medicate it i know there are a lot of serums lot of creams that are available on the market and you can take it without prescription also but as you have seen that it it is a strong molecule and it may lead to skin irritation and skin allergy so do not ever self medicate yourself with glycolic acid first consult your dermatologist and then let them decide whether you are a suitable candidate to start using glycolic acid or not if you have not uh, subscribed to our channel then do like this video and subscribe to our channel and keep watching our videos if you want us to make a video on a specific query that is related to you you can drop it in the comment box and let us know and we shall definitely try to make a video on that till we meet next time please keep your hand to your heart and say this to yourself that i love myself